Gabriella. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Let's see, are you here? Um, You're coming in. I can uh, hear you. Oh my God. Oh, I can't see Hello. my Hello. Right. How are you? I'm good. I thought I messed something up. No, you didn't mess anything up. I was just running behind and my assistant is off of work. She's at a doctor's appointment with her son. She's on the West Coast. And so I couldn't get her to email anybody. So I apologize on that. Are you ready? Yeah, this is so cool. Sorry. I, I, okay. I, 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 <laughs> it's so cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. My 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 first client who was amazing and phenomenal. I think I'm going to take these off just because the glare is too much. I love them because I can see you really, really well. But then the glare just gets in my eyes and it hurts. Um, So my first client, whenever I got on, she um she was on her phone and she stood up and she walked out of the room. And I was like, I just sat there and she comes back. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just so freaked out that I'm actually talking to you. I was like, it's OK. I just did it. Okay. So yeah, it, it happened. It was really, really, yeah, it's, it's very cool. So I appreciate you being here now. I want to tell you before we get started how this works and yes. So I just read your um, appointment thing and you're like, can I change it? Can I do stuff? Can we do anything else? Yes. Whatever, whatever you want to do. It I don't know. I to me. know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just here for it. If you just want me to feel and see who comes through. We can do that as well. I know we have a particular person. If you want me to feel animals as well, I just do that. I just kind of, I love to do it all. So okay. if you don't want me to go somewhere, you tell me. Otherwise, everything is is on and I'm good for it. And mm, let me turn on my spirit box. Sorry, I just got something in my brain. Um, And so let's see if they can show up like that. Who is that? All right, so there's a couple that is together. Maybe? Maybe? Who is that? Okay, I'm turning on my spirit box right now. So there's nothing on here right now. If I get something on my spirit box like that, I will take a screen. I won't. I will not turn my phone off. I will take a screenshot and then I will show you what I'm getting. Um, so sometimes uh, spirits can come through and they can talk really well on it. Like um, I went into my second session. Um, and it said heart attack. And I was like, weird heart, heart attack. She was like, that's what he died of. I was like, oh, well, thank you. And it was like the first two seconds. So there is a J, Judy? No, July. Maybe that's July. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to walk you through how I do this as well. But hold on. There's a feeling right now. No, you're good. Um, I'm just trying to think. I know. No, no, no. Just be, be with me. Be with me. Flow. Oh, I don't, I don't believe that that was it, but some, so hold on. Give me a second. Where? But you're, so you're date, you're, you are dating somebody right now. You're with somebody right now. Well, not in the room, but, um, no, I'm, but you do, you're in a relationship. I'm married. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So whenever, so it's very hard when you do this because when I used to, I used to tell people that they were married, you'd be like, oh, you're married. And they're like, no. And I'm like, but, but you live with somebody for like 25 years. Yeah, that's marriage. I don't care what the government says. You know, like you've been together. So now I just go, okay, you're with somebody. It's just very point blank all across the way. Um, somebody's talking about you being with this person. And so you really, you really, really do like them though. Like you really, really, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My last um client, her and her husband are, are thinking about um getting a divorce. And so you can oh, feel that, but you can, uh -huh, but you can feel the opposite with you. Like you would joke with them and have fun with them or like there is a connection there and it's good. Um, There is a man here that's talking about that. And they're saying that, tell me, oh, do you know if, I don't know if this is you or because we're talking about your husband, um, do you know if he lost a good friend and or a cousin? Which they both kind of feel the same. And it's a guy. Um, He lost his uncle. I actually have his mask card right here and a cross that was him. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have all my, I'm shaking. I have all my mask he, cards up here, his and mine. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. then, oh, that's so crazy. I'm getting the chills. And, yeah, and they would have been really, really close, though. Like, really close. I think so. I never met him, so I'm not oh, sure. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a gentleman that's talking about how he's standing next to him and he's talking about how, or he likes to be with him quite a bit. And he's the one that's talking about your relationship. Um, and I said, Oh, is it his dad? He goes, no, 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 no. He says a step down and he says, I'm always with him or I'm always next to him. So that for me means obviously not dad. Right. So I'm going for maybe it like gets into like his uncle best friend. Yeah. I would have to say it goes into that. Cause that'd be crazy. That can be hard. We can get into it a little bit more just because if I don't know it or I haven't seen it, but we will try to get it or get something at. Who is that? Do you know if there's a gentleman that had a. God, there's like three names going on in my brain or three areas. So let me tell you how I do this first and we're going to get into that. So number one, obviously, it's just me. I'm my little pen. I'm my little notepad. All I'm going to do is scribble the entire time. It makes my anxiety go away. It's okay. 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 The next thing is when it allows me to focus. The next thing is when we're channeling. How does this work? So what they do is they come through because they love you. And yes, they can come through for you. They can come through for your husband because you live in the same house. That's what it is. So your energy is here. So um, when they do talk, how do they talk? Well, they are essentially using my brain like a computer. And whatever I have seen, felt, and experienced in my life, that is what they can use to talk with okay? okay so if they're talking in words uh essentially what they may do is they may say like showed up for the wedding and i'm like oh did somebody just have a wedding like that um with names and nicknames it can be very very difficult because unless i have heard or had like an emotional attachment to something i probably won't be able to bring it up because they can't pull something out of nothing okay, okay. um and so sometimes the may it came the way it may come across is i'll be like okay so i'm getting an h name maybe something like hair uh, uh something in that area and you're like yeah harold and i'm like oh i don't know anybody named harold but that would be the name right uh -huh. um and so the other three ways are that they will try to put me in a situation that could have happened to you could have happened to them or will happen to you by taking my own experiences my things that i've seen in other sessions and they'll try to kind of like realign them in a timeline um and so maybe they'll take something from when i was five and then bring it with like a session i had uh friday like whatever it is and so that'll come up with that the last two ways are that they will try to take essentially um how do you say it? feelings and emotions uh, and they will turn them into words so they can make me feel what like gunshot wound to the head is. They can make me feel what it's like to be taken off life support. They would bring up the feeling of when I took my dad off life support. They would bring up the feeling of when I had sessions with like people that get, you know, shot in the head, stuff like that. And then really the last way is that they will come in and they will just talk in signs and symbols. So they will sometimes show me like a pineapple. That means that they're from Florida. They will show me a grilled cheese sandwich. That means that they're from Canada and they'll put all these signs and symbols in a row and then that will turn into English now but really how they talk is they talk in all four of those ways all at the same time and I'm trying to put it together and figure it out so it is very intense but it is so fun it's like the world's biggest okay. puzzle and some of the things that they show me I have to dig deeper 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 like um somebody on my last session was showing me Chiquita bananas and I was like mm, bananas I was like that's very boring and she was like, what are you talking about? I said, somebody keeps showing me Chiquita Bananas. And she was like, what did you say? I was like, Chiquita Bananas. She's like, my nickname is Chiquita. I was like, Chiquita Bananas. So like that. So my see. cat's in here? Because she wouldn't yeah. not be in That's here. That's okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're okay. You're okay. Um, Yeah, just keep that there. Hang on. Give me a second. Does somebody have a... Oh, let me turn this on. Zoom is deciding that it wants to let me know that I am late okay hold on okay so your appointment just flashed and now i know exactly what that was for so not last session but the session before that and the session before that i literally asked both my clients there was a man with me and he kept saying his name was robert over and over and over again and i was like do you know robert or a bob or like a bobby that can all go with that and they're like no and then I, your appointment just flashed saying that we're here. And I was like, that's yours. So that was your person. That is okay? my person. That is your all the way through. And they freaking adore you. Do you know anybody with like a heavy F name? Like, would it be like a Frank or a fa fa fa? Well, I never met my grandfather, but he's, he, I think his name was Frank. My dad's dad. The Bob is my grandpa. He, 
I'm gonna cry. Uh, he okay. was he was my um he was technically my step grandfather, but he raised me like a father. So he always called me a special girl, and that's my special guy. That's so. what that's yes okay and then frank would be your other your dad's grandfather i just put a picture up downstairs of him so i wonder if that's him but i never met him so okay no 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 that's okay yeah so i want you to remember this so we are talking to your grandfather right doesn't matter if he's a step who cares it's it's the connection and then as your grandfather is showing up guess who shows up your other grandfather it's because they're in the same vibration or they're in the same area they're both in heaven and so they're showing up for you so it doesn't matter that you didn't meet them your main person is saying hey frank's here too by the way that's essentially all he's saying so you have multiple spirits and so we're talking about names so i'm asking him i said i said give me this guy's name give me the uncle's name Uh, frank 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 Mm. i'm like oh okay so they're talking about both your grandfathers are around okay but is the is the other guy my the my husband's uncle or he's not he, he would be here no he would be here as well oh. but when i asked for when i asked for a name he gave me frank so he's just talking okay. about how the other grandfather is here too yeah i just kind of ask questions and they give me answers so just stay with me hang on okay. tell me about why hold on who are you hold on. you know a michael or a mike I know it, there's a few that died that Who's I Michael. Know. Okay, somebody says tell her Mike. Michael. Okay. Tell her so Mike. It, it's like, either okay. there's two people I could think of off the top of my head. My friend when I was he died at 16, Mike, or my cousin who recently died from cancer, Mike. Uh, that it would be that one. It would yeah. be that one over just because the 16 may show up, but I would have to say it goes more on the, the, um, the cousin thing because they're closer connected to you. Okay. okay. Just because of family. So hold on. Oh, and it just said dead, um, on, on my spirit box. So yes. Um, yeah. Somebody goes, tell him Mike, Mike is here. Michael go ahead. And I'm like, I'm not going to say Mike. And they're like, go to no, no, talk about it. Tell him that I go, okay, fine. And hold on. Tell me. They're just talking about how they're good. This is your your um step grandfather. I'm just gonna call him your dad. That's just what he feels okay. like. Um, he's why he just keeps going like this. He says like it's all good. It's all good. Like don't worry about it. We're fine. We're fine here. Just let him know. And he's talking about how never seen any pretty and never seen anything prettier or better so he's talking about heaven or a higher vibrational state and he's talking about how beautiful it was and this guy is full of like old wisdom and like good words and he's funny too at the same time and so you can you have this feeling of ooh, just like completeness here and why did she did she she oh so is his wife his wife is still alive no his wife is dead wait who? his wife is dead oh, okay. no 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 wait if he's talking about my grandmother because he had yeah. two yeah she's, yeah, she's here she is here yes okay yeah he goes like this he says he remember i heard i said wait or something about wait and i said i said what are you talking about i said what are you doing he says waiting waiting for what he says my wife is still alive i go oh okay so he's like waiting for your grandmother to cross oh that's she's funny. not dying she's not going anywhere anytime soon but he's they just, were friends he's they got divorced but they were friends like good friends they yeah. always yeah. so that's crazy. yeah yeah that's it well just because they're all part of the same soul group so it doesn't it, it doesn't matter yeah he likes her he does like there's not like oh my god that's the model of my life he's just like yeah i'm just waiting for him here i go okay oh, he i says that uh-huh yeah and so remember this is recorded i'm gonna send it to you tomorrow morning okay so tell me why jay there's another J name again interesting we'll have to go into that in just a second hold on you didn't happen to know anybody named jesse or jess correct i don't believe you did yeah I, I, only wait, reason because somebody wait, michael can I look on my phone? I want yeah, to see if it was sure. Michael's wife. Okay. Because he was married and he had kids. And okay. I just, I want to make sure, because if, 
I think that's his wife. If, wait, is she <laughs> dead? No, no, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes spirits come through and they want to give yeah, messages his wife to people. Is, yes. That's <laughs> oh, crazy. crazy. Can I tell you how I got that? Yeah. They played the song Jess Jesse's Girl. Have you heard that song? I know that song. That's crazy. Yeah. Jesse's Girl. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. I haven't heard that song since I worked at the mall when I was like 17. So they just pulled that song out and they keep playing it. And that's the only reason why I said I need to say it. He died quick. Uh, Michael died quick from cancer. It was like he, he found out in a couple months. Yeah. So it was really hard. Um, He's for, trying to uh, get to his wife. He's trying to get to his wife she, to say she, hi to her. I can you talk to him and tell him if I say yeah. something? She yeah. she she is distraught when he died, and I know she I know. still misses him because she posts about him all the time. So I just know. I, know. I I just saw yeah. That, so your grandfather brought him through because she know he knows that it would heal his wife. Okay. My grandfather did that. He is. He's a very, very good guy. He's the one that kind of orchestrates everything. So there are like head spirits up there that make sure that everything's okay um, and make sure everything's going. So he got Mike. He got Jet. I mean, that's the most names that I have gotten in like a month all in one line. So I'm just letting you know that his connection with me is fabulous. Can you tell my grandfather I am sorry? Oh, don't. Hold on. Let's ask him why. Hang on. Stay with me. He knows in your heart, you know that he can feel it. Hold on. Tell me why. Are you like putting off going to see him? I moved, but, but that's, that's not why. You it was because okay. when he died, I wasn't there a lot. That's okay. That's so putting off. Yeah. Not being able to see him. Okay. Yeah. I go like this. I said, so what happened? I said, did she steal from you? Was she mean? Did she take your money? That's what I'm used to. He goes, no, 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 no. And he says, he says, can't or put off or pushed away coming to see me. And I go, oh, okay. And he's talking about like, it's okay. You don't, you don't need to be sad about that. Okay. You don't need his, he gets it. He understands and he's like next to you all the time. I want you to realize, okay, so ponder this with me. Are you ready for this? So you are a spirit right now and you are looking through your eyeballs. That's it. Your eyeballs are your windows and you're looking through them. So guess what that means? That means you're still a spirit at the same time. So guess what they are? A spirit. So guess what they are? They're next to you. They're with you. They're with you in the space, except our consciousness is pushed outward. So we believe only this exists, but there's a whole thing going on. So anything that you say, anything that you feel, anything that you think, they know. That's how they communicate telepathy. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Okay. So all the pain that you have, all that that you carry with you all the time about that, and you keep beating yourself up and you put yourself in that prison, they know. They know all about it. Okay. And so he adores you. Yeah. You can, you can always talk to him. Hold on. Give me a second. What? Hold on. Give me a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you showing me Jesus? I mean, it is a real thing. Hey, hang on. <laughs> I think I know. Yeah. He goes like this. He just showed me lighting candles. He showed me Jesus. And then he showed me uh, Mary, Mary Magdalene or the mother Mary. And he's talking about how did they? So his were his parents first generation immigrants? Um or was his dad? They were you know? really old. So I I don't know. I'd have to ask my grandma. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Could, I, okay. Maybe. They spoke Italian, and, so Oh ab, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And so was he he was Catholic then or he grew up being Catholic? Yeah, but he didn't believe in it. Yeah, it's okay. That's what it is. Okay, because he's talking about being forced to go to Catholicism or forced to be, and he showed me an altar boy picture, and I go, oh, okay, that I've <laughs> seen. And I go, all right. And he says that, what, were you? Boys did in that war. I couldn't stand it. What are you talking about the boys in the war? Hang on, give me a second. But he never went into um the military, correct? Um, he was in the military, but he didn't go to war. He didn't he was, go to he war. Drafted. He was drafted. Ah. But Nick's uncle did. 
So if you're maybe really? that, yeah, that that could be that as well. Okay, so just stay with me. Hang on, let me see. Hold on. But did Nick's uncle go into like? desert storm or like afghanistan I, I either iraq, iraq. Or one of the two okay or okay 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 yeah i go like this i said i said so the uncle i said how old was he i said did he go into like vietnam and he's like no no no, much younger much younger much younger and i go oh okay and so now i'm like all right desert storm there's iraq or uh, afghanistan that's what i was called okay. um but it's it's, it's iraq not, and he yeah. yeah exactly he tell me hold on where where what happened god the uncle's talking about wanting um woman. did the uncle like ever suffer from heavy ptsd but ended up like passing away of like cancer hardcore because he's talking about wanting to blow his brains out but then he goes into <laughs> He okay. He, I didn't know if he froze. He um he saw his friend get shot. So I'm. A, I didn't meet him. So I think he had PTSD. But he overdosed. He didn't die of cancer. I don't know if he had. That's cancer. why. No, it's okay. It's okay because he's talking about how what he died of it ate him away from the inside. It ended up killing him. And he's talking about having p. Which drugs? What do they do? They go in and they consume yeah. you. And they they that's that's what they just do. And he's talking about treating or having this PTSD. Um, and he's talking about wanting to wanting to you know do something about it, but he won't shoot himself or he won't do that. And so he's talking about how he, yeah, he's in a little bit of a lower vibrational state than your grandparents. So he's, he's not bad. He's a good guy. He's not bad at all, but he's a little bit lower. Whereas your grandparents are and Michael and everybody up like that. They're higher, which would mean to me that that is the reason why the uncle would have showed up first, because he not only didn't have any closure in his life, um, but that way he would be kind of like a guide for your husband. I think, um, well, I don't know if it's true, but his mom always said that she feels like he killed himself doing the drugs. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he did. That's what you do whenever you do drugs and you do it over and over. It's like a cancer. It it eats you, right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, until it finally kills you. It just it just takes you over. Um, and so I would have to say yes. And that's also why when we first started, I hadn't even begun channeling and he shows up. Whoop. <laughs> so, but it, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Um, there are different levels. They're all part of God. They're all part of heaven, but some people just stay here a little bit longer and they learn and they help other people because now they don't have to deal with the drug stuff. Okay. Okay. And why? Hold on. Who? Somebody's yelling another name in my head, but I don't know if it's exactly that yet. So hold on. Give me a second. Did you ever have a dog that you named after like a star or the moon or Luna or something to do with that or a, anything? Somebody just said Luna. And the only thing I know with Luna is my dog that was Luna. So that's why I'm associating with a dog. Um, I had a dog, but I didn't name her after the moon or anything. Okay. No, then that wouldn't be it. Yeah. The, the just We'll go into more on that in just a second. Hang on. Yeah. Somebody said Luna. So it may, it could be a different person. So I'm going to add that in there. Hold on. Give me a second. Tell me what. Come here. What do you want to know? Who is that? Somebody, and I quote, is showing me somebody unwrapping a baby. Hold on, give me a second. Weird, and you don't want kids right now, though? Me? Yeah, what is up with I kids? just what had a girl? I just had a you. son. You and just had the baby. I do want a girl, but I don't have one yet. I want to lose yeah. weight for her. 
<laughs> That's okay. No, you look great though. Okay. Yeah. Thank so you. somebody's talking about, you know, like when you have a baby in a blanket and you're holding them and it's like cold outside. So you put the blanket over them a little bit. So your grandfather just went up and went, hi there, like talking to them. And then he said, oh, grand or great grandchild. I'm just going to call it grandchild because he's like your dad, right? And then he says, oh, I also got a little girl not there yet. And I go, oh, okay. So I'm just going to tell you that when you decide to have a second one, I think you will end up having a girl 100%. Good. Then I'll be done after that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, interesting. Hang on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Somebody's talking about how do you feel like right now, this is going to be personal with your periods, do you feel like you get PMDD or like PMS pretty intense or is there something interesting going on with hormones? Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're regular yet because I had the baby. He's a, he's five months. So oh my I don't God. know how to yeah, you are. Yeah, you are not normal yet. You're almost there. Okay, yeah. I have an 11-year-old child, so I remember all about that. Oh, it was insane. Um, The first year, you're just, oh, my God. I get, I was actually so disappointed when my period came back. I was like, it was so nice not to have I get it, but it's months. weird. It's not It's not normal. So Yeah, my yeah. Just, he, no, I my named God. my son's, my son's middle name is my grandpa's name. That's that, really? That's why he keeps talking about him. So I'm just going to tell you he knows about it. And I'm also going to tell you, too, that, hold on, George. Do you have anybody named, like, a Georgina or, like, a female version of a G name? Well, my name begins with a G. Dear mm, Gabriella, but anybody else? Anybody else? Or, like, uh, a George? No, George. Uh, my other cousin's Grace um mm. but that doesn't go along with mike correct mike um no but i don't remember his daughter's name so uh it's I, okay I know what i mean <laughs> but, no, um, you're, you're, you're okay i'm trying to remember your people are name people i've never had this many names try to pop in my brain ever like it's not a thing oh uh, no <laughs> i don't know his oh. daughter's name but maybe um maybe it's okay Maybe it's with a G, actually. It, it may be something to do with Grace, but because she's a cousin and she's further down, I don't want to kind of like plow into that more. Um, hold on. Give me a second. But that wouldn't have to do with Michael anyway. That's my mom's. No, side. no. Yeah, no. So so negate that. Hang on. Hold on. Come here. Tell me about her. What about her? Interesting. Trying to see if it's his daughter's name. He has two daughters, but I don't remember their names. It's okay. It's okay. Well, let me know. Email me and let me know later. Okay. okay. I, I'll look at my emails in the morning. Yeah, they. Come here. Oh, maybe Gianna. So we know that. Huh? Gianna. Oh yeah. What is that? I've never heard of that before. What is Gianna? That's his daughter. I think that's his daughter. Yeah, that's his daughter. That's Michael's daughter. He absolutely. Yeah, they they made jo what is George G E O right? Jo George is G E. So they make me hear G, and then they make me feel female, and then they're talking about reaching out. Yeah, Mike did not. It doesn't feel like Mike had any closure. I don't know if you can please just show his wife this or parts of it, or just let her know he's trying to reach out to his daughters. He's, and your grandfather is trying to allow his soul closure and he's, he's in heaven. He's not stuck. And I don't want them to think that anybody's stuck, but he misses them. And there must've been like, she must be terribly sad. All she, the they time. were young. They're young. So they're, I'm 30. They're younger than me. They're babies. When I was, I think I was 20 and they were still young, really young. I think she's still in high school. I, or she's in school still so they're little and he died oh my yeah, god he he was bodybuilding and i don't know what happened he went for a scan got cancer and it just died he died like very quickly well no wonder he'd be coming through okay so i just want to let you know gabrielle 
the reason why you book this appointment is obviously to connect with you and that's what we're doing but it's also to give peace to this other person too so you have like a multiple step session which is sometimes a thing and so they love you and yeah and he loves you and apparently you vibed with him well enough or and you're on like the same level that he feels like he could come through for you so that is that is wild I've never heard a George I guess I've heard of Georgina once but it was on no that's Georgette no so yeah I've never heard Georgina before um or or what you said Giovanni Giovanna 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 see I've never heard that name before so hold on tell me he's talking about like the scan he says by by it was just all over his body it was all over his body and hold on I, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know every single type of cancer. Do we know if it like went into it's, like lymphoma it or it, something? I don't know what it was, but I know it spread all over and then he died. Like he, they found it, it spread and he died. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> not crazy, just, but that's, he, that's interesting. I know. He, he said, he goes, he showed me a video on TikTok that I saw a couple of days ago. It said non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and then it spread. And he showed me all these little tumors. He's talking about it being in his bones. And he's talking about how he was mentally still there. I don't think it's non hot I mean, if it is, then it is. That's cool. But it, it's something. It, it might have been, honestly. I don't remember. Okay. I was, I think I was working. I wasn't even able to go to his funeral. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. And he's my older cousin. He has a brother, yeah. too. So like, I have to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to come through for his wife. He's trying to come through. He even told me his daughter's name. How nuts is that? You know, I'm going to have to say that maybe this Mike person, um, came in with no, no, he came in with your grandfather. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Did you? He has a lion head. What do you mean? Maybe he's a Leo. Do you know if somebody's birthday is in August? My grandpa. He's August 1st. Your, your grandpa's August. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Somebody just showed me a lion head and they went, rawr, and that's a Leo. So that's your grandfather showing up. And hold on. Tell me. Your grandfather's just telling you he's with you all the time. He's on your shoulder. He's watching you. So when you have your baby, when you're going through all this stuff, like he's right there with you. And so your your partner is very supportive and he's doing really like a good job helping you and everything like that. He does, but we argue. So it's normal. Yeah, though. it's okay. It's oh yeah. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I remember the first those days. year. I yeah, think yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> it is. It's extreme. Well, because you personally, you are a different person altogether. I mean, all together and like your role, I remember it was the hardest thing for me was I felt like a milk truck and it was just, yeah, I was for three months and then he, my son's allergic to milk. So, um, and we were moving around a lot, so it was hard to eliminate it from the diet. So we just put him on formula. Now we're trying to, his eczema, trying to figure that out. It was like crazy. You poor, I get it. I get it. He's he's good. He's supportive. That's good. I know. I know. It's it's hard for him too. It's both hard for both of y'all. Oh, I get it. He's just talking about, he says she has a good partner. He's there. I said, good. He says that. Tell me. Hold on. Why? Hold on. And you know, for the, the Michael person, they put him on hospice? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't, I kind of disconnect when bad things start to happen because I, I don't know. I, I, he it's might have been. To deal with it. I'm pretty, okay. he probably was because it happened so quick, but I, I don't know oh, for really? sure. He got yeah. to that part. Yeah. Most people in that situation, they like die at home or they go to the hospital and like, that's it. And he's talking about how they shoved him into this area. Come back over here. Come here. Tell me, grandpa, what, where? So y'all, somebody's talking about trying to get you to move to Florida. Um, I don't know why. I don't think you want to move to Florida. Hold on. Give me a second. Is your husband ever considering like doing a dro- a job transplant or like shifting his career soon or something? Um, he just we just like a year ago he got into the military. So he did moving oh. around a lot. We're not in Florida though, we're in uh North Carolina. You you know what? I you may end up moving to Florida soon. 
you may or whatever like your net duty station happens i i'm just gonna leave that there and why hold on so is he army yeah that's oh, great. okay. I go, yeah, I go like this. Sorry, my my ex-husband was Air Force. My dad was Air Force. My brother-in-law's Marines. Like, I wanted to go into the Air Force because I have one kidney. They wouldn't let me. Like, it's a, it was a whole vibe. So I love MOSs and everything. And I'm a huge uh, military history nut. So, like, that's my favorite thing. Um, But I said, so what about, what about them? Do you know what branch she is? He goes, yeah, she's in the Army. And I go, oh, okay. Just like that. I go, okay, good. And why? I'm going to see if he can tell me his MOS or like what he does. This may take a second just because I don't know all of them. Hold on. Why? Knucklehead. Interesting. Hold on. Interesting. So do you know if your husband has like how weird he's talking about him moving up to now i only know the ranks inside of air force so i apologize that like i mean i guess it's like kind of similar right um hold on i want him to stay in i want him to stay in um can he can you tell your husband to start going to school like what kind like for to... like college like college he wants like college, to go to college he... yeah but he's waiting I... uh I think he's trying to go up in the military first because he has to take a test for something. I don't understand anything about it, but he tells me, and I, I'm just I get it confused because there's so many freaking acronyms and all this stuff. But I know he, um, I know he's gonna take a test soon for points, promotion points, and right. he doesn't want to go back to school to be an architect. Except I don't know when. I'm assuming he has to stay in for a while or I'm not i don't sure. want him to go back to school to be an architect i want him to go to school for two or three years while he's in the army so he can move up higher in there and then get out later and do that just because or i would even say for him um stay in move up a little bit higher go to school for two years get an associate's degree whatever it is yeah, you don't have to go far he does. Okay. So, so two years and would be a bachelor's. So he, there's talking about going for two years and then it's like, I'd like him to move to the Navy. Who, my grandfather? No, your, your husband. No, my grandpa's. Your, yeah. Your grandfather's talking about that. He ain't gonna uh -huh. go to the Navy. <laughs> uh -huh. Why not? But, Why not? You, Cause they all like have like the military, I guess they have like these sibling rivalry type things. They and do. They're like, oh, yes. Blah. Like he, he's really, yeah. He's in the army because of his uncle, in my opinion. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's talking about it being the betterment for his future in the long run. And I would even have to say maybe this happens over like the next seven years. Okay. I'll tell, but I don't think he's okay. okay. This is this is what I would even say this. Okay. I would say don't tell him. And then just watch and see, what, see what happens. happens. Be yeah. Because I can tell you there's a reason why I'm saying something like this. And it will probably be that somebody starts talking to him and he decides, hey, I think I'm going to go to school. And he does. But then he has to pay like, you know, I think if you have two years of school, you have to pay four years back in the military because they do it for free if you do that. Um, and then he goes and then because he gets this degree and he works up, there's a recruitment and they talk about cross platforming him. And I think maybe the only way that he could do this is if he joined like an officer corps in the Navy, even if he doesn't want to, but it's too good not to. He would probably do it if it's too good not to. I'll be honest. Uh huh. Yeah. My my yeah. husband is a hard worker, so I know. He'd probably do I it. I know. I know. I think I'm gonna give it seven years, and I'm just gonna leave that there. There is a feeling like don't let him, don't get out, don't get out. Um, and the reason for that is because. I don't know. I don't know exactly why, but I asked him, I said, so what is the reason for that? And they're just talking about it. It's better for the family in the long run. And it almost feels like something dealing with medical for the daughter or dealing with medical for the kid. She has a daughter, not with me. So she I don't have a daughter right now. No, it'd go along with you. So like in the future for your okay. family, it would be uh, medical for y'all. 
So it's like almost like it's not worth it to not get out or to get out and um, pay civilian prices for insurance because it's a joke. It is. Um, it is. It would be for my if I have a daughter mm -hmm. and not for my current child, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, no. 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 So, so just wait. It's nothing bad. Nobody's dying. Nobody's going anywhere, right? But there's a reason for it. There's also, tell me, hang on. Give me a second. Come here, Kapal. Where? Hold on. Hold on. Did your grandfather end up dying in or passing away in? Hold on. He's scooting around in a house in my head, but did he end up passing away in a hospital? Yeah. He did. Okay. I go like this. I said, so where are you at? He says, I'm at home. I said, oh, okay. Where's home? I said, did you die at home? He goes, no. They locked me away in a hospital. I go, oh, well, that sucks. And he's talking about, yeah, people are just going around waiting for me to die. Mm, not me. Talking to, I know. I know. <laughs> and he's talking about laying there, like about to see the light. And he says that, tell me. Hold on. So do you know if when he went to the hospital, they like rushed him there? To the hospital? Mm-hmm. I am the one who brought him to the hospital. Um, mm. He was bleeding and it yeah. wasn't normal in a place that is not normal to bleed from for a male, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't want to sure. like, give his business. I don't know if he'll get mad at me. Uh, oh, no, and no. I was yeah. scared. So I brought him to the hospital and yeah, it was actually a little traumatic. So <laughs> that's pretty traumatizing for me. But um, he, I don't know if there was other things going on in the hospital because his daughter did not like me and I have a feeling she did some stuff that I'm not aware of uh and they kind of kicked me out of his house after because I lived with him and then they sold part of I don't know if they sold the whole thing but I know they sold the part of his property where he used to have his tomatoes and um they built a house on it well whoever they sold it to did so I don't know if he could t he knows all that but well, yeah. Oh, yeah. He went. Hold on. Let's see. I go like this. I asked him. I said, so what happened? How did you get to the hospital? I said, did the ambulance come? Was it just like a routine thing? And they put you in? No, no, no. They took me to it. They rushed me there. And I go, oh, OK. And he's talking about how after that he had to stay there, clearly. And then he crossed over. And he says, as you're saying, to, he says tomatoes and tomatoes. And he, he says, big, ripe, juicy ones. I go, oh, okay, <laughs> I gotcha. And he says that, tell me, is you just like them? So would he try it? Would they like make their own sauce or would he try to make or did they used to? I don't know if he made his own sauce, but he wasn't the best cook. I'll be honest with you. That's so he, I, I know because he keeps he keeps showing me his wife. And I'm like, I go, did you do this? And he's like, no, no, no. And then he shows me, but they were just like the, the, um, the circle ones. They weren't like the plum ones. Correct. The, like, like a bigger tomato you're talking about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause I go like this. I like to ask him like what types of tomatoes, small, big, medium, what shape. And he's like, and I go, oh, okay. Okay. And he's talking about how, what? He doesn't like caterpillars. I agree. Nobody likes caterpillars. And he told me. Interesting. He's talking about when they kicked you out, you didn't put up a fight, but they wouldn't really want to even tell you why. Um, and I know I didn't like. Him. That's what, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. He's talking about you being like, what, why, where? And I said, did she like punch him in their face? I would have. And she's like, no, no. She's just like, I was just trying to get my stuff. I knew, I knew it was coming. That's why I couldn't see him in the hospital because I had to move all my stuff. Really? Because my mom, why. my mom saw him. She was like, "He's gonna die." I know, I know. You don't want to hear that, so you better start moving your stuff because they're gonna end up kicking you out. Not even twenty four hours. They drilled off the lock, and they changed the lock on me, and I got most almost all my stuff out. What fuckheads? Sorry, excuse me. I'm and they weren't there that. for him, so it really kind of fucking pissed me off. But that's his kids so i let it go yeah he goes like this yeah i know yeah i know Sorry. i know why 
He says, like, you're always my girl. You're always my girl. And I want you to know that. And I have to say that he would be the one when you cross over down the line, he'd be the one taking you home. So don't even worry about it. And Mike, I mean, fucking Mike is here. Like, like <laughs> you, you have no idea. So, and who? Do you have anybody named... See, I've gotten this name twice so far, but I don't know. Do you have a Ricky or Richard? Richard, yeah. My uncle Who's Richard. That? He's oh. my uncle. We that's probably would Mike because that's his uncle too. Oh, absolutely. His dad's brother and my dad's brother. And he was like a father yeah. to my dad. Or they were really close anyway. No wonder. He's okay. the older one of the my father and um Mike's father. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that would make sense. Yeah. Your, your grandfather, he's talking about money. He says, but you know, while I'm here, he's like, Oh, and you can say it. I said, what? He says, Ricky. I said, and this was earlier. And I go, that's my brother-in-law. And he goes, no, 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 no. We're not talking about him. Richard, Ricky, say it, say it again. That's what he did with Mike too. Say Mike, Michael. And I'm like, Michael. Ask him, and can you ask him tell me. If Uncle Chris is there. Chris. Mm, oh my god how funny are you ready for this so my husband's name is chris and then his brother's name is ricky and like all, all these odd parallels so hold on tell me hold on so chris was short for christopher not christian christopher so, yeah okay gotcha yeah sometimes people call chris for christian and hold on yeah, yeah, he's around. He's around. He's back there. He's back, back, back there. I don't know where back there is, but apparently there's a thing for back there. Um, hold on. It could mean that he's just like not fully up here, like with us in this area. Um, and hold on. He has some things to work out. Who's Chris? Who's that? Uh, my uncle Chris. He was my godfather. He's my my mom's only brother. So. But That's he died why. very quickly, and he was a bit dramatic. So <laughs> he ah. might have had things going on. Well, that could be, and it could be too. Um, when they talk about, so whenever you just have, let you know, whenever they channel. So essentially, they are coming into your brain. They are coming into your energy. I'm not going to heaven or I'm not going to like this middle area. So they're showing up. Well, so when they say things like back there, it just means they haven't pulled themselves all the way out to like pop in my brain yet. So okay. it's not bad. Um, that's the same thing. So when you're like driving around in your car or when you're in the shower, you're actually zoned out and you're actually meditating. Did you know that? And so that's why you get little blips or knowledge or knowings or information. And it's because you're channeling. Oh, that's cool. That's why. Okay. And cool. tell me, hold on. Hold on. Who? Mama. What about oh, it's okay. I have a kitty. Hold on. Yeah, she's on me. So what do you want? Oh, I get it. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh she's a my big girl. God. She actually is really pretty. Her brother died, so I'm like, I wonder if that's why she oh, wanted to be here. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, how beautiful. Sorry, we have a mackerel tabbies together, except yours is pretty and white. Oh my god. Oh, I love kitties. Okay, hold on. Let me go over here. I love kitties. They're probably my favorite things. Um when if I the reason why I don't want to have mine in here with me is because he will sit here and just purr the entire time. He does not want to leave. Um, hold on. Then. Did you ever know anybody named Max? Or Max Matt or M A. Ma Ma Ma. Or was there an animal with an M A name? Ma Matt Ma. Because I heard Max and Maximilian, but I. I have no I idea. Know. Okay, okay. So keep that there. Yeah, that may be another person that I'm going to channel soon because Maximilian is a very random name that popped in my brain. So hold on. So keep that there. Tell me about him. Tell me about him. Hold on. Hold on. So her brother was... Hold on. Somebody's talking about not putting all cat butt. Somebody's not <laughs> talking that. about putting all of your money into a cat. Um, He's saying don't. 
Uh, yeah, well, I think he's talking about, so with her brother, did he end up getting sick and we couldn't dump all of our money into him or something? Yeah, he died. Um, but before he died, uh, I had a fundraiser because I didn't have enough money. And then Poppy helped mm -hmm. me. And he lived that one. And then he died from the same exact thing he got like a year later. Yeah, that's what he says. She's talking. He says, he goes, he says, he says something, something. Couldn't dump all of her money into it. Oh, the cat was sick. Oh, the cat, you know, had this. Um, now, I don't know every single illness that a cat could have. So you're going to have to apologize on that for me. But hold on. Tell me. Where? Can I tell you? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. like a lung nose airway problem thing or something no. what was it what was it uh, he had a what urinary tract infection and it clogged his urethra the tube ah, yeah that's the tube yeah they keep showing me a tube and they keep showing me that stuff can't get through stuff can't get through and i'm like maybe he has a and they showed me spinal cord. That's what affects um, uh, leukemia, right? Going through there. So they keep showing me all these two. I didn't even know that cats could get that. Holy crap. And you know, is it male cats like... get that more. Really? Yeah, females don't really get it. It's more male cat thing. I didn't know that until my cat died. Why is it? So. Why? What happens? Because I have a male cat. What happened? Um, I don't know exactly how it happens. But if you don't clean the litter box enough or if... I don't know what it is, not enough water or whatever, it just clogs. And then you, if you don't notice it right away, yeah, it messes up their kidneys and they die. So. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good thing. That's, I will look out for that. Yeah. I had no idea. Definitely. Yeah. He keeps, he kept showing me a tube and stuff not being, or stuff not being able to come out through it or issues. And I'm like, oh, okay. Is and he okay? Why? Like yeah. Just... Oh yeah. Yeah. Your, your grandfather would have him. Your, he would be okay. He'd probably be around here. That's also probably why that your, her, his sister is around here. He tell me, hold on. So he was a big squish ball as well. Yeah, he was huge. <laughs> Ah, okay. She goes like this. He goes, he goes, you know, he's with me. I said, what? He says, we can use him as an orthopedic pillow. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he says, oh, that's her big boy. I said, oh, really? I said, a lot of male cats, they, they stay skinnier than the females. No, 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 We have him. He's around here. You should have seen him. His baby. Uh, baby. <laughs> yeah. I go, oh, okay. So yeah. So I would have to say absolutely. Absolutely. And tell me. Don't get another one yet. Don't get another one yet. I can't. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what he says. I go like this. They said, does she have another one? And he goes, she didn't have time for one. She didn't have time for a kitten. They can't get another one yet. They said, oh, but when the time comes down the line, they just showed me the cat distribution system. So there's a joke online that like a cat will show up in your life when you need it, right? Yeah. And so he says that that will happen down the line. And I go, oh, okay, well, I'll tell her about that. And he says, tell me, what about her? Woman. Ooh, ooh. Interesting. Does somebody have a name that is, or is your son's name associated with the Bible? Weird. Or is like the uncle that crossed because of drugs, is his name associated? Now, that would be like Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, or like Isaiah, or something like that. Do you know anybody yes. like that? All of them are named Nicholas. My son, his uncle, my husband, and his his dad. N Nicholas. Nick. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, he keeps aligning um, the son and all this stuff. Nicholas, I wonder what his middle name is. I wonder where Nick comes from. I don't Who's know. There was some yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't I don't know. I don't know where they brought that up. So stay there. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Come here. Tell me about it. What about it now? No. Hold on. Let me look something up. Is there a camp right? I was trying to see if his um middle name was on his uh card but it's not his yeah. uncle look okay well look and let me know 
Hang on. Right. Wait, you said July before. His uncle yeah. died in July. Oh, yeah. I didn't know okay. that. I just seen it on the no, card. No, it's okay. Yeah, so he's bringing that up too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, because he's showing up. There's a lot of spirits here at one given point. There's also, um, have you ever been around, somebody just said Camp Wright, which is not a military installation. I just saw that. Um, but has anybody ever been in, around um, Maryland or D.C. a whole lot? Or does somebody go up there? I know it's not the best place to go. Recently? At least when I went up there, it was chaotic. I don't know. Just because it said Camp Wright, the only thing I can find on that is in Maryland. Um but does somebody go there a lot? I have no idea. I okay. think on the okay. Chris's kids just they went on a road trip. They just came to see me not so long ago, but I don't know if they went to Maryland but or DC, but I feel like they did for some reason. They did. Okay. Possibly. That yeah. it, it may be a thing. Check just because they just put that in my brain and that's where this camp ride is. I was thinking maybe it's a military place that I'll gonna go to, but I think it has to deal with more of like travel. And tell me, hold on, why? What about you? What about you? How? Weird. You were? Was your grandfather born in like 31 or like 30? When was 33. he born? Yeah, he was right there. Okay. Okay. I said, how old are you? He says a few years older than your daddy. My dad was born in 35. Um, and I go on. Ah, he's talking about how, yeah, we're up here. So my dad shows up every so often, which is weird. And so he's like bringing that together. And he's talking about how somebody's yelling Joseph or Joe as well somewhere. So we'll have to figure out that down the line. And tell me, well, then. Do you know if one of your husband's like grandparents is named Joseph or is there like a Joe? Not sure. I only know about his, uh, his grandpa because it's tattooed on his arm. They're all Nicholas. That's oh. how I, but besides that, Nicholas. About Joseph. Okay. Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah. Cause somebody's talking oh, wait, about Joe. My, gran my grandpa's Joe. He died too. Oh, oh, my biological yes. grandpa. Okay. Okay. Yes. Joe. So, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, he goes like this. He says, oh, we have Joe here, too. Oh, he's on the other side. And I'm like, what do you mean the other side? So I'm reading other side is like husband. No, they're talking about your grandpa, Joe. So grandpa, Joe, grandpa, Frank, your other grandpa. There's like so all the many grandpas. people here. <laughs> yes, every and it's because they're all in the same vibration. So they're in heaven and they're helping you out. They're talking about how. Hold on. Let me ask him one more thing. Hold on. Where? Why? He says you don't need to worry about a career right now you don't need to worry about yeah because i'm not i you know what i was thinking maybe he he like you said he could hear thoughts or whatever but i'm yeah. not working right now because the teaching thing ain't working out i just can't no. and so i want to go for something else but i want to take care of my son first and get a job i want to get a job because i never not worked but yeah i have no one to watch my baby because we moved and it's too freaking expensive. And right now, I would even say for military, um, you can take him to, you know, uh, like I did with my son, um, the child care center. But it's so expensive up until they're like a year old. And then at that point, you can do that. But just just wait. Um, let me look at your um, chart real quick. I want to see where your Taurus is. So I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. So my birthday is November 7th of 88. When is yours? September 21st, 93. Mm, okay and then i was born in houston texas what about you uh staten island new york oh uh, okay okay hold on staten oh. i might be able to tell you i have the co-star up i don't know if that's oh wait no this is this is a lot better oh, believe oh yeah me. Hey, that's oh cool. yeah no and i don't read anything as far as that this is just like what you should be doing hang on i'll show you hold on okay let me look let me look Oh, hmm. interesting. Yeah, I mean, teaching would be good, but you need to be in the administrative side 
if you were going to do that. So like being a teacher and then going to administrator, or if you did teaching, you would need to be like the head of the math department or the head of special um, ed or the head of that, like helping other people. You just waking up and doing the rise and grind of like kids being shitty and all the parents putting their parenting things on you and like being caught between a rock and a hard place is not going to be good for you. And the reason for that is because your moon, your emotional side, who you are is a Sagittarius, which is all in education. Virgo is in education, but it's all about being fair, right? And right now the school systems, none of that exists. So I know because my mom was a teacher for 40 years. It, it I have heard and I still talk to all of her friends and it is shitty out there. Um, the other thing I'd like you to do is maybe if you decided to go into, now this is going to be weird. Um, have you ever considered like looking at maybe doing cakes or food or cookies or art or making a small business out of anything like that? No, but that'd be cool. I I ha I'm not the best baker, but I know you're. I know I, you can learn. Yeah, I was thinking about going for physical therapy. Honestly, that will. So wait, wait. So that would be good, but you would get exhausted down the line. And the only reason why I'm saying it, physical therapy would be good. Um, but your Lilith, your negative side, which is your past life energy, that is an Aries. And Aries is all about physical, going in and like moving things and doing things. I I would even say if you went that route, um, maybe occupational therapist, or I would say maybe working with kids or people with disabilities and like teach instead of just doing like the sport I when I think of physical therapy I think of sports medicine so I think of like having people with like tons of injuries and like big bulky guys and you having to like ship them around I would even say go in and like help people that are in wheelchairs and stuff like that if you were going to go and go that route I do like that for you I would like you in that medical field but the other thing too is because you have so much Libra um Libra is also all about uh lawyer Libra is also about um, making sure that things are even and things are good and things are safe. So I would even say if you did anything in like health services, maybe even in like um, uh, patient advocacy. So that's going in and making sure that people get the proper care and they don't get fucked over by the hospital, the insurance or the doctors. Like that is kind of your energy as well. Um, or I would also say, what's another good one? Hold on. About therapy. There, uh, therapy would be good. Like, like psychology therapy, it would be okay. It wouldn't be the best. You like it now, but it would be, how do you say it? You have so much Libra in you and I do as well. You don't have any Scorpio in you. So it would be interesting, but it would really start to drag you down and you would start to get really depressed. Yeah, that's almost. the only reason. Okay, <laughs> yeah. no, no, and that's okay. There's some people that can like, like I can sit here and I can channel people that got shot in the head, right? And everybody, and like for me, I know how to disassociate myself. I, I feel them. I know that they're okay on the other side, and I can move away from it. But some people, it just like takes them down too. You, I'm not saying that you're not strong because you are, but because of your energy, you need to be on the up end of it. So helping people, kind of like teaching them how to be better, teaching them not in like this heavy type of thing um i would even say if you wanted to get into pre-law um or get into anything dealing with um like i said the administration side of hospitals or school or anything like that but then start like teaching your own curriculum or like branching off and teaching people how to do stuff better because virgo is a perfectionist they like to make things better they like to fix things. Then your Sagittarius is all about teaching and being the best and being number one at everything. Then your Libra is about keeping everything fair, but it's also very artistic, not autistic, artistic. And so anything to deal with music, food, art, um, law, anything dealing with like mental and arts and communication. And so for me, this is like teaching people how to do things better, making it perfect and making it fair. So then you start thinking on that level, what can I do that in encompasses all those things that's it okay. that's all it is okay um and then the other thing is Sagittarius your your north node is in Sagittarius which is what your soul is trying to become so essentially your entire life you're trying to figure out who you are what makes you tick and what brings out the best version of you now if you got like I said into physical therapy it would be good 
Um, but honestly, even if you did physical therapy, I would like you to be the person that kind of like almost like a social worker. Um, but like the person that helps the people in the medical get to physical therapy because they're being fucked over by the hospital. Okay. Like that. Like take it a step further just because Sagittarius is about being the hero for everybody. So not so much doing the grunt work. Um, I'm not saying it's grunt work, but, you know, getting there and getting sore shoulders and everything like that. Yeah. It's about being somebody's hero. So I want you to ponder that. OK. OK. Also, I don't even I'm just going to say this to you. Um, you with how much Sagittarius and Libra you have, you'd be also really good in the military. I would have, but I had um. I wanted to go, but I got scared because my friend showed me a video of women and men getting raped in the branches. That so does happen. yeah, but that's not why I didn't go. I also uh, I would have went if I didn't. Um, I I had a surgery on my wrist, so I can't bend it. So I don't I don't think I passed. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. If you went to the Air Force, just because so many people with as much Libra energy as you have, they need structure because they need yeah, that. I um, uh huh. They need that. That's why I go that, crazy that. without working. <laughs> yeah, and and that's exactly what it is. And so, so many people with your amount of energy, they go into the military because they need that, and then they end up being super successful, and they have that guide. So when they get out, they they're on the right path. Can okay. I ask you about another person? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna have to run because I have one more session know, after I'm this, so and sorry. I'm about ten minutes. So you're okay. No, 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 it's not you. Go for it. Go for it. Um, what about Taya? Oh. She passed away a long time ago. Well, almost 15 years, I think. So I don't know if she'd be around, but. Oh, they'd I... be around. They don't reincarnate. Oh, okay. Nothing like that. No, you that's your soul group. So when people are like, oh, I can't get them. um, It's because either they're not trying or they don't have enough time or, and they use the whole day and reincarnated. That's, that's BS. Um, In the like 10,000 sessions I've done, I've only been able to like prove or confirm 11 so that's how rare it is um just not in our timeline Who are you hold on where Was Ty like a really good friend or like a cousin or something? Um, she was well, I call her my sister, but she was technically she wasn't my sister. She was my babysitter who then lived with us and she's a really good friend, I guess you yeah. would call her friend, but to me she's more like family. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I go like this. I said, Who's Ty? I said, Is it a grandmother? Is it an aunt? Or what is it? And so for me, because I'm I'm from Texas and you know, being from where you're from, when you have really good friends, but you call them cousin. You know, yeah. but they're not. You've just known them for forever. So that's why I say friend, cousin. Um, They they go, oh, no, no, no. Outside of the family. Outside of the family. Very, very close. And I go, oh, okay. And they go, but like part of the family. I go, oh, okay. So maybe it's friend, cousin. And they're talking about how, tell me. Hold on. What? She's very high in a good way. Hold on. Come here. Your grandfather's funny. He's like, you want to see her? I'll, I'll get her. I'll get her. Hold on. He is the best. Yeah, he's a really, really good guy. Um, why? Would you be? Odd. Would she, was she like 10 years older than you? Would she be like 45 or something? She, now? she was... I think she, I don't know if she was like 10, 12 years older than me, something like that. Really? Maximum okay. 15. Yeah. Okay. She's talking, somebody's talking about being 45, closer to 50. And I was like, oh, okay. And since I'm born in 88, right, you're born. So I'm like, okay, right around there. And she's talking about, I'm getting old. And I go, oh, okay. And she's talking about um, growing up and getting older. There's this real big feeling of just kind of like love and being by your side and being around you, which is really nice. There's this, tell me. Hold on. Hold on. Why would her own family have trouble getting to her funeral? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I don't. I don't remember. I was young when I went. I. I. You were little. I was 16 when she died. 
So oh, actually, was yeah. I sixteen? Yeah, she died the day after my sweet sixteen. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't remember. Her father was dead. Her mom moved yeah. to PA. I don't remember. Uh, I, think her, I don't remember if her daughter was there, but I think they were all there. But yeah, I don't know about her like, brother. And... Gotcha. She just goes like this. She says, oh, oh, funeral, funeral. Yeah, they got closure. They were there. And she says, oh, it's tough for all of my family to be at my funeral. And I go, oh, okay. And she's talking about being there. And so there's like an appreciation for you showing up to this funeral or showing up to the service. And why? Hold on. Hold on. She is like talking about just wanting to give you a really big hug. Like that's the only thing that she wants to do. I feel like maybe she gave really good hugs and she keeps getting Tell super her, close. Yeah, I said me. pipe down turbo. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Weird when you say pipe down turbo, is there supposed to be something in saying back to you with that? Blah 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 blah. Because she says uh -huh. okay like that, and then she says that 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 like there should be like a response to that. I, I don't. Know I don't know. She used to say it all the time. That's why I just I always. Oh, think of her. that's why. Okay, yeah. She showed me Turbo the Snail. And um, it was from a Disney movie. Clearly, it was from like 10 years ago. So it's not with her. And so she laughs about it, laughs about it. And then she goes, oh, like back at you or back at you, blah, 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 blah. And so that's going from her. So I would have to say she's she is around. She's a higher vibrational spirit. Your grandfather kind of like brings her in a little bit. She feels different. Now that just means separate. So she's not a part of your main family unit, but she is around quite a bit. And I would even have to say she's the one that's watching after your kid. Her daughter is in college. I want her to know that. Oh, she knows that she would be the oh, one that would okay. be watching her daughter. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, she would be. And that that's also why, because she, your families are not together, even though they know each other. And obviously you talk and stuff like that, but she would be around her kids and her okay, daughter good. and hanging out and she would be popping back in to see you all the time. Okay. Okay. That's good. So. This is what I want you to do right now. I want you to take a couple minutes. I want you to have a good breather, a good ugly cry. I want you to tell all these people because that was a lot of people. Believe me, that's a lot. Even It's a lot, but it's a good thing. And so I need you to go through and tell them all that you love them. Just do it in your mind. You can say it out loud as well. And then I need you to go enjoy that baby because it will go kids kids grow up really quick um, and then if you need me or anything like that, please email me and please tell Mike's wife. Please. I'm okay. actually gonna be, I'm gonna message her right after this. How do if I wanted to make another appointment, how do I do that? Yeah. So just don't tell anybody, but email me just because you have so many people all the way through. So book my next available, use my promo code love L O V E that goes on for like three more days. Um, and then um email me and then I will find a day because clearly then we can go into her a little bit more um i will find a day that i do a makeup session and i will add you in there okay all right okay. but good. but you have to email me and let me know that you booked it because then i'm going to tell my team right now and they're going to be like oh who's this person saying that you know you're going to see them early just that's what okay okay so but you got to email me and that way they can grab it Okay. Okay. And how do I get to your website again? TikTok? That's how oh, I did. Yeah. Well, I just, just um, Google the Bolesky, T H E B L E S K Y, and it's the Bolesky experience or TikTok or Instagram or anything, or check your email as well. It's on there too. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. You're welcome. Thanks. I love you, baby. Love you. Thank Bye. you.